So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Well, I'm answering the so You call me dragonborn. What exactly does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. <laughs> I... I mean, I don't even know if I... Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. Oh, I'm afraid. I've never done this... before. Um, I'm just gonna... Shout at us, and let us taste of your voice. Oh boy. Okay. Dragonborn, it is you. <laughs> Welcome to High Hrothgar. Here, okay. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. I... Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? I, I, I hope I didn't hurt you with that. That was really loud. I am answering your summons, Master Angir. You, you called. So, he here I am. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. <laughs> I have a destiny? What, uh, what do you think my destiny is? I, uh... That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. I guess. Uh, who are you? What is this place? And by you I mean, like, all of you, not just you. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Okay. That sounds... Peaceful. I'd like to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. If that's... We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only one? There are more than one Dragonborn, or there... You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. That's fun. Okay. I think I'm ready. I might be a little new at this, but I think I'm ready. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. I can do that. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Oh. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Okay. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. That sounds useful. I like focus. I like not having it go blasting out and doing things I don't want it to do. Okay, focus. Okay. I think I've got it. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. I... But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. <laughs> is, is that 
As part of what? your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That was. I'm just. I'm gonna do. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here so I don't hit any of you. If that's all right. There's one. Huh. I. I. Mm, sorry if that was not. Well done. Again. Is that okay? I'm not hurting any of you when I do that, am I? Learn quickly. Once more. All right. Wow. <clears throat> that really does. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Yeah, it's really rough on the throat, though. I'll, I'll be honest. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Uh, which one's Bori? Oh, that one. Uh, sorry about the pottery, by the way. <laughs> it's a good thing I learned balance now, because... Yeah. Let me just... Do that real quick. Back out into the cold. Oh boy. Well, I haven't screwed up yet. That's a good sign. Hello, Secunda. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Okay. You've got to teach me how to do that, because that's cool. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Oh, I'm hearing it. Like, kind of softly. Go to Master Bori, and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. You know, I like learning from... Yeah, it's a little. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate <laughs> whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. It's very hard to hear you over the wind, but I'm not going to ask you to speak up because that would be Master weird. Bori. X. Wolf. Whoa. Now it's your turn. Okay. And next to me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Oh boy. All right, let's do this. Deep breath. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, did... Did it... Was that... Did I make it? I'm gonna assume yes. Hi. Sorry for running into you. Uh, they don't talk much. There it goes. Okay. I can do this. I did it. Your quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Yeah, I. It's just as astonishing for me. I don't really know how I do it. It just sort of happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Oh, there's more. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Ah. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. I can do that. Sounds good. Um, so, I take it you're- I know Jürgen was your founder with- 
He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. What exactly is the way of the voice? And... What... The voice was a gift of the goddess Tinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. That sounds nice, actually. I think I'll try to follow the way of the voice if I can. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. I mean... Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? As a joke? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Okay. That makes sense. Kind of. Wind, guide you. You too. Oh boy. I would very much like to follow the way of the voice if it means that I don't have to... You know... I was raised my whole life not to be loud. This is loud. This is very loud. Tava. Is this a gift from you? Is this... Is this why you sent an eagle? I mean, this is the place that I had those dreams about, but... You know, I didn't expect to be... What I understand about shamans is that they're quiet. They live outside of whatever norms... Whatever norms their societies have established. That's, that's what they do. They live outside of everything. They're, they're quiet. They're... They're healers and not... Fighters. Right? I don't know. I've never met a shaman. I was supposed to be a bridge. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be getting back down to Whiterun at this hour. I might as well just kinda find a place here and. You know, I can read some of the words, but I have no idea what that means. Uh, is that Arngear or is it someone else? 
I'm not gonna disturb him either way. What are these reliefs supposed to be? Is this... I don't know. It's old is what it is. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can find a quiet corner somewhere. I... I feel like I might be spending a lot of time up here. I might as well get to know the place. If I'm supposed to be studying with the Greybeards now. I mean, study is fine. I'm alright with that. I wonder what that room is used for. That's kinda... Maybe there were more than four at some point. That would make sense. Alright. This is quiet enough. I don't think anyone will object to me laying my head down on the table here. I'm not entirely sure where I'm welcome and where I'm not, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, not to take my chances and just do this. Why am I carrying around a bunch of cabbage? I don't know. I'm tired. 